What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review video and I got this wig from Diva Wigs. Now I've never reviewed a wig from Diva Wigs before, but I have seen them floating around YouTube. So when they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their wigs, I was just like, sure. Course. So I went on the website and I was scrolling around and I seen this wig that was inspired by Miss Dixon and I think she's like a singer, songwriter, and dancer if I'm not mistaken. I saw this wig and on the website it is a long bob so if you do decide to get this wig just know that the wig is not going to come like this and it's not going to come in this length. I did cut it and put some curls in it with my flat iron. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the specs on this wig so you guys can just have that information. Okay so the color of this wig is a 1B. I got the texture Yaki. I got the same length as the picture. I think it was right here when I got it so I think that's about 16 inches. Right now I think it's either 12 on this side and 14 or 14 and 15. I'm not sure. The density of this wig is 130 um, so it's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's like the happy medium that I love and the cap size is petite. Okay so when I first got this wig it did come like the picture but like I said I did cut this hair because when I first got it and I was wearing it I was just like the long bob thing is not for me so I just decided to cut it a little bit below my jaw I didn't wash it yet so I don't know how it looks after you wash it um, sometimes the hair follicles expand so the wig becomes thicker but I don't think that will be a problem this is a lace frontal wig so there is ample amount of space in the front to make it look natural as you guys can see I got my part going on or whatever and the rest of the wig in the back is tracks and stuff does this wig shed no it does not shed at all so going back to the color of this wig I did say this wig is a 1b but in the sunlight it does reflect to be brown so if you guys want this wig to be black you're gonna have to dye it because it's not black it's brown so if your hair is dark like mine you might want to dye it a natural black color so that it matches with your hair if you don't really care and it doesn't really bother you that the hair is reflecting to be brown in the sunlight then you can just leave the hair in its natural color I did not dye this hair I don't know if I'm gonna dye this hair I'll probably just keep it the way it is um, because I've done I've been doing too much to this wig to be honest so in a lot of my videos you guys ask is the wig beginner friendly and I don't really understand what you guys mean when you guys ask is it beginner friendly are you guys asking is it easy to lay like make it look natural or are you guys asking like, is this wig difficult in general if you guys are asking me is it hard to make the wig look natural the answer is no because I mean I just put this wig on my head yes you are going to have to do something to your wig when you get it because it's not just gonna come really that's the trash can so ignore that but yeah I feel like with any wig that you get you are gonna have to tweak it to fit your face shape and your personal preference so is this wig beginner friendly I feel like it can be if you're not picky like I am when it comes to my wigs because I want it to look real I want it to look like it's growing out of my scalp you guys ignore the sounds okay but any wig that I get I do always alter the wig to fit how I want it to look this wig looks nothing like it does on the site because old girl has a different face shape than me. Her neck is probably a little longer than mine. So when I got the wig, of course it's not going to look the same on me because I'm a different person. Does this hair get knotty at all? No, it doesn't get knotty. Does this hair tangle in the back? No, this hair does not tangle. No, this hair has not matted on me at all. Do I wear this hair to sleep? No, I don't wear this hair to sleep. I always take all my wigs off at night and put them back on. Did this hair come with a smell? no it did not come with a smell at all it didn't smell like chemicals it just smelled like regular hair what I did notice about this wig when I first got it it did look very very natural it wasn't a blunt cut the ends look like naturally grown hair the ends didn't seem trimmed so all this that's going on all this blunt cut that you guys see it's what I did the wig comes very natural looking so when I was doing this hair and cutting it I was trying to figure out how long I wanted to cut it 
but I'm, I just ended up with this. I just kept tweaking it and cutting it. I was kind of nervous about cutting this wig because I didn't want to mess it up because I have messed up wigs in the past because I was cutting it. But this time I did a good job and I put some little curls in it and that's how I got this little style right here. This is giving me like a Gabrielle Union, Megan Good, kind of thrown in Justine Sky kind of vibe. So I don't know. I really like this hair. I feel like this is a classic look all around. Nice curls, asymmetrical bob going on. Oh, another thing you guys always ask me, how long does it take to get the wig? I got this wig really fast. I don't know if it's because I was reviewing the wig or it just... The company is just, you know, on it when it comes to their wigs and shipping them out. So you will get your wig in a timely manner. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this wig. I give this wig in the company a A+. I really didn't have anything negative to say about the wig overall. I love this wig. It looks good. It doesn't shed. It didn't have a smell. The wig is laying. This is an overall good wig. If you guys are interested in this wig, I'll leave all the information you guys need to know down below. If you have any more questions for me about this wig, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to comment back to you guys. That is the end of this review. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep updated when I post videos. And if you guys want to be more updated on what I'm doing on a daily basis, just go ahead and follow me on my Snapchat and Instagram. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a try on haul for you guys. I got some stuff from Bromley, She Inside, and of course Fashion Nova. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into this haul so this intro won't be long for no reason. Okay, so I got my clothing right here. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is this I think I got it from...